Hello guys, and <laughs> Ooh, that was a bit loud. Hello guys, and welcome back to episode 28 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Can't believe it's been 28 episodes already, or it's gonna be 28 with this one. My son's been playing a lot of plane crazy in uh, Roblox, and he's making some really cool stuff like rockets, uh, space shuttles, airplanes, of course, it's a, it's a really a plane scene, but they build all sorts of stuff. Now he's making Bismarck, I think, and uh, a Walker. Oh, Apollo rocket he made as well. Really cool stuff he's making, and I got a little bit inspired. So today I'm gonna try to make a boat 747. That's one of the planes that he likes and he's made one in Roblox and I'm gonna try to make one now in Blender in 10 minutes so we'll see how that goes. It's gonna be low poly again but I'll try to see if I can subdivide a little bit to make it a little bit round as well. So uh, won't have time to texture map it, don't think. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. It's just gonna be a primitive model I think. 747, here we come. Ready, steady, go! And we're off. Yep. Tab in edit mode. Let's scale this one. Why? Uh, maybe 12, 10, 12. Yeah, that should be all right. Uh, let's go to side view, control R and subdivide it a little bit. Maybe a cut here for the front, something like that. Something for the back here as well, maybe there, something like that. And we need uh, the whole uh, thing where it comes up as well, I guess. So I'll do control R for a few more loop cuts here. Maybe that should do. And then, uh, oh, I have to apply a mirror modifier. There we go. And let's pull this up now. So we're going to make the, okay, so I have to make another cut here side view and then bring that up something like that maybe control r let's make another loop cut here we can scale this down maybe to there and scale this down <laughs> maybe i should have looked a little bit more what it looked like first okay so scale and bring that in side view again bring it up i think it goes pretty much like that let's bring this up a little bit maybe bring the belly down and like that maybe i should be a bit higher i have to do a loop cut here Control r do a loop cut on the side as well pull that in a little bit and then we need to probably bring these in so i'll select these edges move those into there scale that down scale it up that should be all right i think uh, okay and now maybe Control alt select that one Bring, let's go to the front view. Okay, uh, one to vertex, and let's deselect the ones that are closest to the center here. We don't really want to move those, so. G to move this, maybe like that. Same here with the bottom, make it a little bit rounder. Alt, shift, select, and deselect these vertices. And then front view, G, up. I think that should be the rough shape of the plane. How am I doing? 750, okay. Uh, we should do uh, maybe a wing now. I think I need to bring these up slightly more. Maybe like that. Okay, uh, wings. So we'll go to top view, control R, do a loop cut maybe here somewhere. And then one there. And now let's select these, inset I to inset that. And then I'll select this and press G twice to slide it down. And same there, same there. And then here, let's uh, go to top view, seven on the keypad, E to extrude, S to scale. <laughs> you know that by now. So E to extrude, S to scale. I think maybe this is the shape of the wings. Oh, <laughs> okay. It's a bit sad. So let's bring it up. <laughs> That's probably more like it. And they also have uh, like a little thing coming up, I think, here at the tips, or at least some of the models do. Maybe that's a bit too wide. Gee. Okay. Front view, R to rotate, E to extrude, S to scale, and bring it in. Top view, slide it back to there. So there we go. Uh, how am I doing? 637, okay. Not 747, it's 637. Okay, so maybe bring that one down a little bit this one done okay and now we need uh, the tail i guess so go to side view here control r r loop cut loop cut here and how big should this be a <laughs> tail fin thing so i'll do i to inset that one b to get the border thing and select that one g twice slide it in and go to side view and you know the drill e to extrude s to scale and G to move. Maybe like that. 
I don't know how big that should be. Well, it shouldn't be that wide anyway. So let's move it in. Okay, and now we need a little tail fin here as well. So I to inset that one. Uh, G twice to slide this one up. And we should bring this back maybe to there. Okay, and side. Top view, seven on the keypad, E to extrude, S to scale, G to move. Ah, maybe like that. Is that too... Okay, uh, so 522, I guess we should put some engines on. Uh, let's put it front view. Shift right click to put the cursor there. Shift A, do a cylinder. Let's do 12 sections. A on the left, scale zero on the UVs. G to move it. God, I feel... Am I falling asleep? Feels like I'm talking slower today. Maybe it's the heat. <laughs> Let's to scale that down. G to move it. Maybe there. Side view. Slide it forward. I think the engines hang a little bit in front of the... Oh, maybe not that much. <laughs> a bit in front of the wing. So maybe there. Okay. Uh, control R. Scroll up on the mouse wheel. Scale Y to get those parted. Scale up a bit. Let's do E to extrude. S to scale. And then side view here. E to extrude. S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, <laughs> S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. I don't know how many tiers this is. Well, let's make a, something like this. And then we have to do the center here. I to inset, E to extrude, I to inset, E to extrude. Oh, a little bit more out. E to extrude, S to scale it down. That's it. How am I doing? Four minutes to go. So now we should bring the engine up as well here. So I'll select these two faces, control shift, no control alt select down to there. Side view, E to extrude, S to scale. Let's make some sort of, <coughs> pardon me, scale Z zero, scale Z zero. To get that flattened, scale it down a bit. So that's our mount. That's gonna be okay, I think. L to select that one, top view. Shift D to duplicate it and put one there. I think it's got four engines, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't think I've seen <laughs> anyone with six anyway. Uh, so that's it. Uh, 326. So what else should we do? We should colorize it a little bit. I'll maybe move this in. Should be G. Move this center one out a little bit. I guess we could do... Uh, Let's see, scale that up a bit. No. There. Okay, we should make windows here at least. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to colorize too much. Can't make all the passenger windows, so just going to have to make make do with some, uh, at least a pilot should be able to view out this one. So GG move there. GG, good game. G to move that onto bl black. GG. Okay. And then uh, we could do dark in the engines, I guess. So alt select that on, shift alt select that on, G black. Okay. And here too wide in the back. So let's move this one back at least three in. That's it. Uh, 218. I think we've got most features now on the plane, don't we? And uh, now we could probably, so I, I can do the nose cone a little bit different as well. So Alt select that one, Shift select these two, make it just a bit of a darker green. Maybe I'll do everything else pretty white, a white paint. Okay, now we can try to subdivide this one as well. So I'll select this, I've got one minute 53, so select it, Control, maybe two on subdivide. And that should be, we should be able to create some uh, holding edges now as well, Control R. This will uh, add some loop cuts and sharpen these edges at the tip here as well. Control R, loop cut, control R. Let's tighten that up, control R. Tighten that up, <laughs> control R. Control R. Okay, and then here, that's okay. Uh, we could do the engine here as well. So I'll probably alt select this. I'm gonna do in one minute. So let's do P, separate that to a new one because now I should be able to loop cut these as well, control R. Just sharpen the engine so they don't look quite as smooth here. Control R just adds loop cut for the subdivide modifier here. Control R. That should be okay. And then 
I think I'll just have to delete this one uh, vertices and then I have to duplicate this whole engine L uh, shift the G to move that on okay that's not good not too. okay 33 seconds let's see I'll have to do this one separate. Alt, alt select that one. P, select. 20 seconds to go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll just do this one. They, they're not identical anyway. <laughs> so my OCD will have to go out the window there as well. So the engines are slightly different on both sides. But that's okay. I think that's okay. That's it. Time's up. Dismiss. So we've got ourselves something that could resemble a Boeing 747, I think. Um, not sure about the proportions or whether the aerodynamics would work, <laughs> but I think it's got the rough shape. Uh, maybe we should look. Uh, the windows are a little bit too big here, aren't they? It's with a, when you apply the subdivision modifier, it sort of stretches the UVs out a little bit, so maybe it's not the best. Also, you could, um, if you wanted to shade this, I've still got this viewport thing. You could uh, disable the cavity. Maybe that's not the best for this. You could also change the face here if you wanted to shade smooth instead. That'll uh, bring that low poly look off it a little bit. So Okay, that's it. That's going to be our uh, low... <laughs> well, it's not that low poly anymore, but... You I've still got the low poly mesh here. I usually do all my low poly stuff here with the uh, with the faces in. Uh, let's see here, face flat like this. When I do low poly, it's nearly always flat shading for me. I really like that look. But for this one, if you wanted to make the plan rounder, even though you've got uh, it quite low poly, like I said, you could select all of these faces, go to face, and then change it to shade smooth, and that really rounds it off. The the, basically, the, the edges will uh, calculate the normals instead of being flat. It's sort of, it will average it across um, the, the different faces. And so the light will look like it is a lot rounder than it is. It's still a very low poly plane here, but that really makes a difference. So if you're going to unwrap this one, you could uh, shade it smooth and then really have it uh, pretty, pretty decent. If we apply the subdivision modifier here, we can see what type of a polygon uh, layout we got. Got some slight uh, differences here. I did the break the quad topology a little bit for the window there. It's not a massive problem. It looks uh, pretty good, all right. I think down here, you could uh, you probably want to make the wings thicker here. I think I made them too thin, and it's not really the proper airfoil at all. <laughs> it's got uh, a weird bend to it there, so you should really fix that. Okay, let's bring a browser up here with some search engine results. So here we got. Obviously, I didn't do the textures or anything like that, but maybe we can scroll down and see if we can find a. A, a, a view maybe I'll try to do this uh, maybe that one so if I minimize that one a little bit I'm working on a really wide screen here I've got one of those uh, ultra wide screens so I'm recording the top little corner here but I'll try to resize this one I'll try to get the similar view so obviously the wings are very incorrect shape here they're way too wide they should have been a lot narrower and these windows are way too big tail section sort of okay I think yeah engines sort of okay I think as well I didn't put any landing gear on and it's uh, supposed to be a little bit wider here I think the nose cone was way too big should have been a little uh, tiny thing I don't know what I should have done there should have done something different that one's way too big anyway it looks like a big propeller tip or something <laughs> this bulge thing is too long as well it should have been a lot shorter I think should only be into maybe there. Do they do different uh, versions of that one actually? I don't really like this uh, image view. They changed it a while back. Yeah. So yeah, that one should have been a lot longer, that slope. Into that view. Engine mounts are too long as well. That fin should have had a long, longer tilt. It's a lot bigger, actually. It's fun when you start looking at the proportions. You don't really think about the plane, what type of proportions it is. All right, guys. So there we have it. Uh, that was my attempt. And that's a comparison to compare to. And uh, let's hammer it in the comments now to say everything that I got wrong. That's okay. I'm okay. I can cope with it. Uh, so I should have a tip this week. 
I, I, I've realized that I'm not really doing that many new things. I keep repeating the same thing. You know, we to extrude as the scale. You know that one by now. The tip this week is going to be watch my one and a half hour long tutorial on low poly editing. It's got pretty much everything I've learned during the last five years of doing Blender, especially low poly stuff. Maybe it's not for everyone to sit through one and a half hours, but I've time marked everything in the description on that one. So you can go to it, expand the description, and then you can see time marks of everything. Maybe there's something. I've had some reports from <laughs> reports. What am I? Some sort of a. <laughs> I've had some uh, comments saying that even people that have used Blender for a long time can find stuff in that video that they find useful. Maybe they've missed it. And a few of those things I only learned myself not too long ago, especially from comments that you guys have been putting in my videos. Watch that video because it might give you a tip or two that will work in your favor. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching yet another episode of my 10 minute modeling challenge. And next week it's going to be episode 29. So set your alarm. Make sure you come back to see the premiere on that one. We'll make something fun then as well. Have a good one and I'll see you soon again. Bye for now.